kittens, it is Sugar, and I have a thrift haul for you guys. So last week, last week or so, I went with a group of friends and we went thrifting and I was totally going to bring the camera and take you with me. So, um, and I actually brought the camera, but I left the SD card in the printer at home. So I don't have any footage from when we were actually thrifting, but I am going to show you some of the things that I got while thrifting. I didn't get a whole lot. I actually spent, I think I spent $20 total. First thing I got was a coffee grinder. So I got this coffee grinder for $1.18. I drink a lot of teas, specifically like medicinal and herbal teas. And so what I do now is I will grind my own ingredients for the teas in here and so I make my own tea so I do buy like bag teas and things of that nature but I also um, make a lot of my own medicinal teas out of raw herbs so I got this it was a dollar 18 and it works beautifully I haven't had any problems with it it's a total find the thing I got was this adorable plate you can see paid 80 cents for this um, it is plastic, but that's actually what one of the reasons why I liked it because um, I do a lot of traveling and I go to festivals, camping. It's like summer camp for adults. So and when and a lot of people bring like paper plates and stuff like that, but this way I can pack this with me. It's not going to break because it's plastic. I don't have to use paper plates. So um, when you're camping, usually you have to like take all your trash out with you because at festivals we're not staying at like a um, state park or at a camping resort. We're actually like staying on like raw land. Um, and so you have to take all of your trash out with you. So this is much easier. I can just wash it, reuse it, um, and obviously everybody's gonna know that it's my plate because it's got a pink skull on it with like this black lace detail. It's, it's just totally perfect to travel with and have festival feast with. 80 cents, could not pass it up. It was, it was just awesome. Next thing I got, I also got for festivals, um, or just summertime in general. I know it's like winter time, but I ended up, all the stuff that I ended up liking ended up being summer clothes. So I got this purple top, which is quite, it's actually a 3X, which is really too big for me. But I paid $2.49 for it, and it is, 100% linen. So perfect for festival and like festival wear or um, just summers here in St. Louis. So it is kind of crinkly and it's linen so it's going to be wrinkly. Um, but I actually am going to leave it like that. Like I'm going to leave it crinkly. I might even just ball it up to put more wrinkles in it because I like the look of that. And then this will be really cute like over... Um, I have um, wrap pants that um, they're basically like harem pants so they're totally open from ankle to thigh and they just wrap around your waist and tie um, and this is the kind of clothing that you wear at festivals because you're outdoors you're living outdoors and it's it can be really really hot and you want something that the air breathe and it's kind of loose and um, and so this is going to be so perfect over those pants or over a skirt and we give that tunicky feel. Not quite three quarters sleeve, a little bit shorter than three quarters. Um, I probably could even wear this now if I wanted to and I could layer it um, because it does have that tunicky vibe. And I'll probably like belt it at the waist with a scarf or a sarong or something like that. So. It's a really great like layering piece and um, and we'll just go with all of my festival clothes and will be great to travel in and it's perfect for the hot summer um, because it's linen, it'll breathe and it's not black. I actually have an item of clothing that's not black guys. That's hella crazy. So, um, and the second item of clothing I bought is not black either. What is wrong with me? I think the world's coming to an end. Oh wait, that's tomorrow. <gasps> Anyways, the next item I bought was this leopard print tank. If I can 
get it to sit right. There we go. This leopard print tank, it's so adorable. Super stretchy. Again, this would be like a really good layering piece for right now. I could layer this under like coats or, you know, put a long sleeve underneath this and then just have the black sleeves out. You know, I could do all kinds of different things with this. Um, but I got this and this was also $2.49. So um, just a cute little leopard. And this is my first piece of leopard print clothing. Besides, I have scarves and I've had shoes, but this is my first piece of leopard print clothing and I love leopard print, but I never seem to find like the right cut or style for me, if that makes any sense. I don't know. So those were the two clothing pieces I bought and then I spent the last of my money on shoes. Really awesome slouchy boots. They've got a, like a kitten heel. Okay, and there's a buckle. And they go all the way up, look at that. So they go up um, to my knee, so they're knee high boots, um, but I can slouch them down and make them lower. Now, I paid $6 for these. Normally I would not pay $6 for shoes at a thrift store. But these were the holy grail of boots, and let me tell you why. I have a very, very high instep. I have ballerina feet. I have extremely high arches. And usually, I cannot get my foot, my, my heel gets caught here on the ankle, and I can't get it down into, my heel gets stuck here, and I can't get it down all the way in the shoe, unless there's a zipper in the boot, and there's no zipper in these. Um, the other problem that I have is that because I'm also a dancer, I have very large calves and they're very, very muscular, but I have small feet. I only wear like a six. And so usually um, the clothing stores or the shoe places that carry the um, wide width boots for people with large calves don't go down to a size six. They stop at like a seven or an eight and it's too big for me. But because of the way that these boots are made, they fit in my calves. It was like these boots were custom made for my feet. So they're so fabulous too. And I've been looking for a low heel boot like this forever. And um, they are, I believe, genuine leather. Yes. They are, they're, they are genuine leather, so they really are steel for $6. Like, that's a total bargain. You just can't get boots that are genuine leather for that. And that's also perfect that they're leather because that means I can fire perform in them because I cannot wear synthetic fabric when I fire perform. So that is my little mini thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below, subscribe so you can get more of these videos. And um, you can follow me on uh, Twitter at um, Sugar Cyanide, or you can add me on Facebook, facebook.com backslash the Sugar Cyanide. Thank you guys very much. Talk to you later. Bye bye.